Hey, welcome back. It's a, another beautiful day here in Dead Poly. And today we're going to be talking about backpacks. Why backpacks? Well, backpacks is one of the more important items in Dead Poly because that's where you put your stuff. And, well, frankly, there's a lot of stuff. Today we're going to be covering what backpacks there are what's so good about each one of them and which ones i think you should be taking a look for so we're going to break it down into a couple of categories these over here this is kind of what i would call well they're better than nothing <laughs> so at the bottom of the barrel we're going to have the school backpack uh, we're going to open this up and give you a little information on backpacks we won't cover in detail this on every single one but we'll show you on this one. So each backpack, you have a set number of storage slots and how much weight it can hold because each item in the game has a little bit of weight to it. So with the school backpack, you can hold 30 kilograms and you have a four by four internal inventory space and it takes up a three by three space in your inventory. Uh, next to that, you have the slim line. It's the same 30 kilogram capacity but it is a little bit bigger than a five by five and it takes up a little bit less room being two by three. And once you get uh, after that, you get the backpack. The backpack is where you step up a little bit in weight at 45 kilograms with a internal inventory of three by eight, but it does take up a hefty four by four slots in your inventory. Then you have the military backpacks. All these are the same, it's just different colors to match the different armor sets. So you can be nice and color coordinated with your character. The military backpack holds 65 kilograms. It has an internal storage of a four by eight and it takes up the same as the regular backpack, a four by four in your inventory. Now we get to these cute little guys. Aren't they cute? So we have the if, you know, it's cute, buzzy, buggy, fuzzy, and mermaid. All these little guys, while they may be small, with not much carrying capacity, they do have a place because when you open these up, they are going to have a 5x5, five five, most of them, not all of them, just wait. 5x5 five five inventory with a 25 kilogram capacity. So that's your cute. When you open up this, you jump up to 33 kilogram, the same by 5x5, five by five, and it only takes up a 2x2 two two slot in your inventory. And that's going to be the same for the buzzy, the buggy, and the fuzzy. So the only difference between this four is the cute holds a little bit less weight at 25. So then you get the mermaid pack. So when you open this up, a little bit unique in that it holds a little more weight at 35, but it's a six by four. So you're actually losing one slot for having this different configuration, but that configuration may or may not help you out in what you're trying to store into it. Now we're jumping up to a little bit bigger packs with the camp pack, the camp pack holds 55 kilograms with a five by eight internal inventory. The Koopa shell holds 80 kilograms with the same five by eight internal inventory. Then you're going to get the Explorer pack, which is a 70 kilograms with a seven by five internal. And then you have your adventure pack, which 50 kilograms with a six by six. Really, the biggest difference in these is, you know, your internal inventory setup and how much it takes up in your inventory. With the adventure pack taking less at a two by three, your explorer takes up a three by three, or your Koopa shell takes a three by four, and then the camp pack takes a three by three also. Now we're getting into the little bit bigger boys. So we have the turtle, the expedition the paratus pack so your turtle and your expedition pack both hold 100 kilograms both have a six by eight internal inventory and they take up a three by four slot in your inventory so other than just the aesthetics they're pretty similar 
The Paratus Pack holds 150 with an 8x8, which is going to be the same as the Nomad Pack, but the difference between the two is the amount of space they take up in your inventory with the Paratus Pack taking up a 4x5, where the Nomad Pack only takes a 3x4. And we're running out of light. Give me just a second. I'm going to turn the lights back on. There we go. As I was saying, the Paratus Pack and the Nomad Pack are identical in how much weight they can carry and their internal inventory. The biggest difference is how much room they'll take up in your inventory. Then we have the Rush Backpack. The one I'm wearing right now. The Rush Backpack, 155. So the largest carrying capacity out of all of them. 8x8 eight eight inventory, again, the largest, and a 3x4 is what it'll take up in your inventory. Which, again, is the same as the Nomad Pack, but it holds 5 extra kilograms. So typically, what I'll tell you, be on the lookout for a Rush Backpack. Because as you can tell, I have a Rush Backpack in a Rush Backpack. It just works out better when you're playing inventory Jenga and however you, you want to set them up. Put them in your pockets. Put them in your backpack. Arrange them different ways. That's how I like it. So in my opinion, out of all the different backpacks, you know, we'll look out for the, you know, Paratus Nomad rush backpack being the ultimate the other ones do have a place uh, matter of fact i like taking things like the mermaid pack and keeping it in my pockets and gives you a little bit extra space for meds ammo what have you set you back down there now last but not least in the storage game we now have pouches so pouches can be put in your accessory slot we'll open up my bag here and we have some more so here's the different pouches that you can get and i'll throw this one off to show it so the big pouch if you throw it here 35 kilogram capacity and your three by eight the small tan pouches 25 kilogram and they're a two by eight. Let's take that off. Let's throw this pouch in there. This one, the red pouch here, 20 kilogram capacity, and you're only a two by five. It's a little bit bigger pouch, 15, and it's a two by six. And then this little guy, camo pouch there, 10, and it's a two by three and then again you can stack them up in your accessory slot and get a whole bunch more carrying capacity i want to find some more of the bigger pouches but i have not yet so there you go guys pouches and backpacks if you liked the video please take time to subscribe below because we do have some more informational videos on dead poly like this one coming up in the future and uh, the keen eye may have seen uh, kind of what i'm working on next this is james thanks for watching leave a like or a comment if you enjoyed the video or if you got any questions or want to see anything else in the future thanks a lot bye bye